so excited to be here today for the United Nations Youth Forum and the SDG Media Zone, which is a dynamic place that talks about the impacts and the initiatives that youth are doing. And we're very excited to be bringing Millennium Fellows to speak about the work that they're doing and their passion and their contributions to advancing SDG 4 and 5. So Little Dreamers Foundation is an initiative where we seek to create access to affordable and quality preschool education in high density areas in Zimbabwe. So we basically focus on helping students from low income families to access subsidized school where they get to have this world view education type of system and they get to have like French classes, music classes, which is something that is not offered by Zimbabwean curriculum. So the Millennium Fellowship experience, number one, it, it changed my life. Uh, I can't express how exciting and how impactful this experience was for me. The reason that I am so passionate about quality education is because I know what it's like to overcome. It also taught me in terms of what it means to be a leader and how to step up and be a voice for change and be an advocate for your students in your own way. My name is Claire Sliney and I'm a co-founder of The Pad Project and an executive producer of the Oscar-winning documentary short, Period, End of Sentence. I think it's really important for people to realize that there isn't a certain age limit for activism. We started the PAD project when I was like 14 or 15 years old, and it's something that I've stuck with now. I'm 20 years old, and I continue to stick with, hopefully, you know, for the, the continuation of my life. My biggest piece of advice for my peers and fellow like youth activists would be that if you have an issue that you're really passionate about and that you want to raise awareness about, do it. Don't wait for someone to tell you that you can do it because this is something that I've stuck with for so many years and that for, you know, constantly would be hearing um, push back, you know, you guys are so young, you're in high school, there's no way that this is actually going to, to come to fruition, and it did. And I think that it's a perfect example that you can be any age to make measurable impact and to have an effect on the global community in a positive way.